Are we ready? Can we handle it? You guys, I'm too chip. This laptop is f***ing crazy. This thing is fast. Oh, f is it my turn? These are really fast. You should get them. They just changed the game. Hello, and welcome to Apple Park. Well, the rumors were true, and today Apple has officially released its latest edition of M2 chips with the new M2 Pro and M2 Max, and with those new chips comes a new set of 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros configurable in both options, as well as a new Mac Mini that comes with either the M2 or the M2 Pro chip. Now what's strange is that Apple also released an 18 minute video detailing everything in what definitely seems like cut footage from an event. I mean, it is entirely possible that Apple just decided to shoot, oh, a promo video in the same style, but the rumors about a possible event happening back in October and then scrapped do hold a little bit of weight in my opinion. Anyways, before we get into everything, be sure to like and subscribe, and of course, follow me on Twitter, but most importantly, I would say subscribe, because honestly, all of the new devices that we're gonna talk about are going to be out next week, and we'll be going hands-on, doing deep dives and comparisons, and so if you don't wanna miss that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, comment, let me know right now which machine you're planning to pick up, if, if you are planning to pick any of these up, or let me know what you're holding out for in terms of Macs, uh, or any product for 2020. Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. All right, so M2 Pro and M2 Max. The new M2 Pro chip features a 10 core or 12 core CPU and offers up to 20% faster performance than the M1 Pro chip, at least according to Apple. Now the chip also has up to a 19 core GPU that delivers up to 30% more graphics performance while the neural engine is 40% faster. Now if we go over to the higher end M2 Max chip, that has an improved 12 core CPU with up to eight high performance and four high efficiency cores, and it delivers a 20% increase in performance than the M1 Max. It also has a 38 core GPU, according to Apple, or at least you can get up to a 38 core GPU. You can also configure both models to have up to 96 gigs of memory, but that's only when paired with the highest M2 Max chip and only if you get the 38 core GPU. You can also max out SSD storage at eight terabytes, just like the previous model. Now the new MacBook Pro models also support Wi-Fi 6E, which allows for faster wireless connectivity and lower latency over the six gigahertz band. The previous 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros were only limited to Wi-Fi 6, which operates over the 2.4 and five gigahertz bands. There's also an upgraded HDMI port on both new MacBook Pro models that can support an 8K monitor at 60 hertz or a 4K monitor at 240 hertz. If you're interested in ordering any of these new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, you can actually do that right now with the 14 inch starting at $19.99 and $24.99 for the 16 inch and deliveries will arrive by next Tuesday, January 24th. If you plan to customize anything, it looks like the earliest you're going to get it is January 26th, which honestly isn't bad because any other time I've customized a Mac in the past, it's been weeks or months before you actually get that machine. So two days really isn't that bad. Then for you Mac mini fans, rejoice. A new powerful Mac mini is here and the M2 model only starts at $599, which is actually $100 cheaper. The new Mac mini features the same design as before with no changes despite rumors suggesting a complete redesign. For Mac mini models with the M2 Pro, users have access to four Thunderbolt 4 ports compared to only two models with the M2 chip. On both chip configurations, the Mac mini comes with an ethernet port, HDMI port, two USB-A and a headphone jack. The M2 Pro model offers a 10 core CPU or a 16 core GPU, or you can max that up to 12 core CPU with 19 cores of GPU, and then you can get up to 32 gigs of memory and eight terabytes of storage. And if you wanna to go to the base model, that actually starts at 599, which is again, $100 cheaper than the M1 that happened, uh, what was that, 2020? And you can get an eight core CPU, a 10 core GPU, and 256 gigs of storage with eight gigs of RAM. Those two specs are not great, but you can't configure it up to 24 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of storage. The Mac mini is also available to order right now and comes out next Tuesday. And of course, would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Are you planning on picking anything up? Are you impressed by any of these chips? Did you think that Apple was going to announce something else? 
uh, rather than these Macs, please let us know in those comments. This has been Now with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.